This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. No. Step D. Establish a more organized and robust letter to the editor process. I will start this myself by promoting a thread on nhfree.com, though I may not write that many letters myself, although I actually have just written two in the last couple months. Now, I used to write a lot more, but video is now the most efficient way for me to help us accomplish these objectives that I'm suggesting. Now, those are all the steps I could think of off the top of my head for increasing publicity. Uh, there is one other one that came up later, though, that I thought of, and that was if we could get someone, if we could get a speaker at the Liberty Forum or the Porkfest who used to be, say, president of Estonia, or maybe we get Milan Kuchin, the former president of Slovenia, or just some country that has had a spectacular secession from its wicked rulers. Of course, it would be especially fun to have whatever president was in charge at the time, but really almost any super prominent figure from one of these countries would do the trick. It would get us the kind of excitement and buzz uh, that, that we're looking for, kind of like the, the secession bill would. It would also have the byproduct of maybe tying us a little bit closer to one or more of these countries and making those countries pay a little more attention to what's happening to us. Okay, so enough about publicity. Let's go to objective three, of what I call the 50% charitable activity boost. Keep your distance from them. Watch that call behind. Yo, what the fuck, man? This one is important to help us counter the negative backlash that usually does come with a higher PR profile. Step A toward this. Make NH Liberty charity activity more interesting and efficient. How? Well, I think we do it by targeting it more toward the victims of government. Helping random people in need is awesome, but we could add something to that which has more kick. We could assist in a timely manner those victimless criminals who are all around us. Off the top of my head, this could mean setting up an intermittent aid station outside a jail. When folks get released, someone's there. Uh, maybe we have a humanitarian aid packet. They could videotape uh, interviews with the releasee if that person wants to broadcast their concerns. I've done some of that before at a jail without the humanitarian aid package, just the video part. Maybe we could help them, uh, call for a ride, provide them a coat, that sort of thing. There is a risk, though, that you'd help a real criminal inappropriately, so maybe certain precautions would have to be taken. I guess we can discuss this if and when this ever starts to materialize. Uh, charitable step B. Do something to help ShireSharing.org and LSFund.org. They're the NH Freedom folk who are already getting things done for charity. If we could boost each of these by 25% and seriously do step A, that would probably get us to the overall objective of a 50% boost in charity activity. Objective 4. Ensure at least a 3% dollar cut in state government compared to 2012? Well, to some extent, this is the governor's stated goal when it comes to the bureaucratic departments, at least. Allied with her on any issue, we would be fairly unstoppable. I'm not sure how serious she was about cutting, uh, but it's what we do. I don't have a lot of specific thoughts on this yet as to how it should be done. Please help me fill in the blank. Coming up, uh, or coming on top of the 11% cut that we achieved uh, during the 2012-2011 uh, session, such a 3% cut would really help. I'm really not sure where it stands, though. It seems like it's kind of gone out the window. Uh, it, it will also fulfill one of Sun Tzu's suggestions, though, if we were to achieve this. Throw in something odd and unaccountable now and then. Uh some kind of alliance with this personably likable Democrat governor would be an outside-the-box approach upon which the ancient warrior might smile. Finally, there's Objective 5. Boost Free State Now activity by 50%. This could be done by raising their funding or maybe by volunteering for them. FreeStateNow.com is what you could call an underhyped operation that uses a call center approach 
to get the rest of our 20,000 movers. The 20,000 Liberty activists pledged to move to New Hampshire. Right now we only have 14,000. Thus far I understand FSN has been pretty efficient in trials of its concept. However, I think it's under new leadership, and I think it's only effective to the extent that it gets funding. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If, in the, if the past is any indication, we just boost the funding, uh, and uh, or, or we boost the number of hours that they spend on their project in some way, uh, and that should do the trick. Mark Edge, I think, was the founder of this effort, so Mark, maybe you could give me a shout and... Give me some projections as to when we would hit 20,000 if your total level of activity were 20%, I'm sorry, 50% more uh, between May 2013 and May 2014 than it was the preceding year. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's, that's my brainstorm, or my suggested brainstorms for a 2013 strategy. Uh, the ideas, I think, will most efficiently move us towards Soren's functional definition of liberty in New Hampshire by 2030. To see it in writing, click the link in the video description and post your suggestions for improving on this rough draft. Better yet, post your own detailed strategy. Let's have competing strategies run for election. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention what I was planning on doing to ramp up activity on my own. Like I said, the original goal, I was thinking of trying to boost Ridley Report hits by 50%, you know, basically in 2013 over 2012. But I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve that, so I'm not going to set that as a goal. What I am doing instead is implementing the Liberty 911 concept, or at least a scaled-down version of it. And if you want to know more about that, then just go to the video script and click on the relevant link. If I'm asking others to ramp up, I feel I should ramp up too, but obviously I'll only be able to ramp up in certain areas. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com